In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take these three columns in a CSV, automatically create the images, automatically create all the SEO, and automatically upload them to Printify. If you want to say thank you, there are affiliate links to Printify and Shopify in the description. I'm going to show you absolutely everything you need to do, and I'm going to give you the scripts completely for free. Let's get into it. So let me just show you a quick demonstration of how this works. There are two Python scripts that we need to run. The first one is Python create images .py. What this does is it generates a clickable title, generates a description, generates tags, and then also generates the image and puts all of that information into a CSV for us. So if I click right here, we can see that is our cats in space. It's a little bit cursed with the eyes, but it looks okay. This is Cats in Venice. This is actually perfect for a little image on um, a print-on-demand marketplace or on Etsy or whatever the hell you want to sell. And this is Dogs in Pajamas. That is absolutely incredible. So once that's done, we can now do Python upload images.py and run that. And I'm going to show you everything. Don't worry if you don't know how to code, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to go through everything in this video. But you can see why right here, product one created successfully. And then also product two should also be created successfully. So let's go on to my Printify. And we will quickly check if the images were uploaded correctly. So we'll click on my store. And yeah. You can see Pampered Pups, Dogs in Pajamas, Organic Unisex T-Shirt. Wow, good SEO. Product description, it has the base product des uh, description that's always there from um, Printify. And then it has a little bit of extra information. We can make this longer if we want. I just put maximum 100 characters or something. And then tags, we've got dogs, pajamas, dog lovers, cute dogs, animal lovers, canine fashion, dog pajama pie, etc., etc. These are then going to be used later to make collections. So if you want to have like a dog lovers collection, then this would be how you actually make that. And we can see as well, the price is $29.99. We can definitely re reduce the price. You can change anything you want in the script, okay? But let's talk about how this is actually working and what we actually need to make this work. So first of all, we need something called Dream Studio by Stability AI. So first of all, you need to make a Stability AI account. And then once you have it, you need to go on Dream Studio. You get 125 credits to play with. So just click on the top right on beta. Beta, beta. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that anymore. Beta.dreamstudio.ai. Click on the top right. And you can see I've actually bought credits. Um, I just, yeah, I, I wanted to play with it without worrying about it. But you do get 125 credits for free. And that's enough for a decent amount of images. So then you want to click copy to clipboard right here where it says API keys, okay? And this is where the magic happens. So we have our two scripts right here. So create images, obviously we're going to need a stability AI key, which we're going to put right here. I will delete this afterwards, so don't bother trying to use it. You then need an open AI key, okay? So we'll delete this. And we'll make a new one. Again, I'm going to delete this at the end of this video, so please don't try and uh, use it. So we'll put this into the open AI key like this. Okay. We now have both of our um, important API keys. However, we do need one more, which is the Printify one. In order to get the Printify one, it's a little bit more complicated. First of all, you need to generate an API key. So just go on Printify, click on the top bit here, and then It'll say connections right here. Once you click on connections, generate a new key. So we'll generate this right now. Again, I'm going to delete this at the end of the video. So go to upload images this time and where it says your Printify API key, you want to copy and paste this. And then we have to do one more thing, which is to get the store ID or shop ID. Okay. The way that this works is again, if we go on Printify API reference, and let's click on the first one. Scroll down a little bit. You'll find this right here. Okay, we actually need to do a curl request. So open up your command line terminal, whatever it might be. Like this. 
And I, what I like to do is I like to use something like Google Chrome, or you can also use Notepad in order to put this Printify token here. Get the token from before like that. And because I'm on Windows, I don't need the dollar sign. I don't know about other operating systems. And then do Control A, Control C to copy everything, and then Control V and press Enter. This will list all of your shops. We're using Shopify, so I want to use my Shopify ID which I can grab just like that. This is now technically ready to go. However, I want to show you the kind of things you can change, et cetera, et cetera, before we uh, go into a bit more detail. So you can change, for example, scale. I just changed scale. Previously, it was on 1.0. I just upped it to 1.5 and it made the image a little bit bigger. Price for some reason works like this. Oh, 2999 means 2999. Okay, so 1999. Uh, 1999 is 1999 dollars basically. And I wouldn't really change anything else except maybe potentially blueprint ID, print provider ID, ID, and variant ID. Okay, this is if you want a different color, for example, or if you want to put it on the back of the t shirt instead of the front of the t shirt, for example. And then also with creating images, you can change whatever the hell you want as well. You can change the prompts inside ChatGPT to, for example, I put at the end of each title, write organic unisex t-shirt. This is for SEO. Um, and, you know, the, these are all tiny little changes you can make. So each one of these functions, okay, where it says function, it will have something that you can change, okay? So let's say I want to add something to the description you can add whatever you want to the description. For example, here I have a little append thing to put the um, print, printify thing inside, like the printify information inside the description, okay? Again, that's for SEO reasons and not really any other reasons. Apart from that, I wouldn't really change much to be quite honest with you. I would try and keep things fairly simple. I've done, I've done all the hard work for you, okay? This took me hours and hours and hours. So, for example, I had to find the best uh, API endpoint. All this stuff, if you don't really know about programming, you probably don't know what I'm talking about anyway. So now, again, let's give it a little test. So let's go and input CSV, and we'll do... We'll add one more cats in Paris, I guess. That works. Okay, so before we run, what you want to do is you want to go on Terminal and click New Terminal. And then you want to make sure that all of these things at the top are actually installed. Okay, so where it says from PIL, PIL is pillow, okay? If you don't have pillow, for example, you can do pip install pillow. Press enter, this will automatically install pillow for you. Uh, and then you can do pip install, I think, requests, but I think I already have it. Yeah, I already have all of these, so for me, this is going to work, but if you don't have one of these and the script isn't working, this is the reason why, okay? Now, if I do python, um, uh, python create images.py, this will now run the script just like before, and hopefully this will work first time without me having to change anything. Looks like it is going to work. This is the point when sometimes it doesn't work. So we shall see. Okay, it's working. Nice. So this is our cat in space. So what I'm personally going to do is, because I don't think these look very good on t-shirts, I'm probably going to sell wall art instead, or maybe birthday cards or something like that. But for now, this is the video that I've made. And this is, that's kind of a cursed image, but it kind of looks nice. One thing I wanted to do if I was going to sell t-shirts is to put like a circle around it. Wow, that's so good. That is actually amazing. It's a little bit cursed because this looks like a person dog, but... <laughs> I don't know why. It just This is super cursed. This is super cursed. But that's fine. Uh, you don't have to necessarily upload all the images. Another thing you could do, for example, is um, on create images you could change it to use the word cartoon. So in fact, no, you could put that on the input. You can say cartoon, cats in space, cartoon, cats in Venice, or you can use a style here. Like if you really, really want to use a specific style, like, I don't know, dreamscape or whatever, you could add the word here. So I'm gonna add like pastel, just to see what it looks like. 
And then we're gonna run createimages.py again. This is always using tokens, okay? Everything I'm showing you is based on tokens. This does cost a little bit of money, but like you can probably get maybe 500 images, 1,000 images for less than $10, okay? And the amount of time this saves is completely ludicrous. Oh, that's a cursed image. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's like a bit, it's, it is a bit hit and miss. I would personally check through these to make sure that everything is um, A-OK. -okay. This is fine. This works as an image, to be honest with you, even though it's a little bit cursed. And this final one, let's not be cursed. Okay, that's amazing. Look at that. That's so, so, so good. Okay, and then we'll run the other script as well. So Python upload images.py. If you're watching this and you don't really understand what's going on, basically just go to paste bin. I'll probably put them in paste bin. Grab my Python script, grab my upload images script and my input.csv and then just try and make it run exactly like I showed you in this video. Okay, so this should be the final little bit of um, proof or whatever. You can see this is art gun, Bella Canvas, blah, blah, blah. So one thing I would recommend is definitely making sure that your print provider is the print provider that you actually want. And also, yeah, t-shirts. I'm not really a fan of t-shirts. I think it would be a lot better to do this on wall or wall art or something like that. Something that's a bit more easy, sorry, easier to take up the entire image frame uh, not like a t-shirt basically t-shirts just look weird if they've got the like this square It looks too kind of strange, but other than that, you know, I'm pretty happy with the <laughs> with, with how this has gone. I'm gonna be real honest with you. This took me a day Maybe like four or five hours. I already had the script to upload to printify which took me a while to make But yeah overall like I'm really really happy with the results here so if you want to know how to, for example, put it on wall art, uh, this is the number that you need, okay? So where it says products here, let's go back to my, I guess it'll be upload images. Should be product details. So the final thing I want to show you is how to, for example, put it on wall art. What you want to do is you want to go to your catalog and choose the item that you want to sell it on, okay? I want to sell it on a vertical wall art system. For now, I'm just going to use this as an example. So what you want to do is you want to click start designing. These are the two numbers you need. One is the print provider and one is the blueprint. I can't remember which one is which. So the blueprint ID is 1098 and the print provider is 228. Once you've got that information, you want to basically, I'll leave this in the, I'll leave this right here. Okay, I'm going to comment this. So let's go to the left. Uh, let's comment here and say to change the um, print object, use this to find the variant ID. And now I'm going to paste it. Uh, this has my secret key in, but again, I'm going to be deleting the secret key. So you wanna be changing these two numbers, 1098 and 228, okay? This is where I got them from, just like I showed you, 1098, 228. Once you've got that code, okay, you wanna run this again into your uh, computer, your, what's it called, this thing here. And this gives me all of this information. What you wanna look for, I'm looking for vertical. So we wanna stick this on a vertical thing. So we've got the ID right here of a vertical one. So we'll put copy that and we'll look for variant. So ID right here. And also there should be another variant written somewhere. Variant ID right here. Okay, now when I do Python upload images, instead of being on a t-shirt, it's now gonna be on a piece of wall art instead. So you can do this, you can do literally whatever the hell you want with this guys. It's all about just understanding basics of, um, yeah, the basics. You can see right here, it's uploaded them and it looks like it's taking up the entire piece of wall art, which is exactly what I wanted. This is the back of the wall art, so there's nothing here, obviously. The fact that this is automated is pretty exciting. I'm not gonna lie. Not only is it automated, it still says unisex t-shirt, obviously, because I need to change the prompt, but yeah. 
this is really really cool another thing i need to i need to change this and i need to change uh this description but that's fine that's going to be the end of this video i've given you everything you need now to make a million dollar business on automatic okay the best thing to do is buy a lot of tokens let's see how many i used in this video i had 993 now i've got 989 I used four tokens, which, I mean, the cost of that is uh, 20 cents. So I spent 20 cents on four images. Really, really impressive stuff. I'm extremely happy with this. I just need to change a few more things. So look, example, for example, yeah, big thing that you should change. Profit minus $10, which is obvious because I have the t-shirt pricing on, okay? So you've got to be extremely careful with that kind of stuff. Make sure you're not making any mistakes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's all you need to make a huge business. It's fully automated now. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.